Hi guys, it's Jack here from Workshop Marketing and today I'm going to be answering five commonly googled questions about SEO. So if your website is quite small and you don't have a very high domain authority, it's really important to hone down to some really niche keywords. So look for terms that are really relevant to you specifically and that get some monthly search volume, but you want terms that aren't too competitive, i.e. not many other people are trying to rank for them. Optimizing them into your pages can be a really good start. It's also really important to look for natural long tail keywords. So what I mean is questions that you can answer better than anybody else. All the evidence is pointing to the fact that we're using search engines in a different way. Look at the rise of voice search, you know, Alexa, Google Home, that sort of stuff. You ask questions and it finds the answers. What answers do you think it gives you? most likely the answer in that featured snippet. So your keywords should be a mixture of all those things. Look for these really niche key terms, but also look for natural long tail keywords, questions that you can answer and win those featured snippets. The answer is it really doesn't have to, but it depends on the type of SEO work you're doing. So if you're just doing some really low level stuff, maybe you're looking for some keywords and that sort of thing, then there's, there are a ton of free tools out there for you to use. We actually contributed to a blog from Datablocks, which has around 50 free SEO tools out there for you to use. We'll link that in the description below. So if you're doing longer term SEO work, and maybe you've got multiple websites to track, maybe you're looking at hundreds of keywords that you want to see how you're ranking for every week. Maybe you need to see your domain authority going up and down. Maybe you need to see how many links you're getting on that sort of stuff. I definitely recommend investing in a campaign tool. We use Moz at Workshop which gives you all that information but you can find something that works for you. Absolutely, yes. I would argue actually that it's probably more important in some cases for smaller businesses than larger businesses. If you're a small business, you might not have a massive PPC budget and therefore these broad keyword terms that in an ideal world you'd like to rank for might be a little bit out of reach. So it's really important to hone down on your niches. What can you offer that's different to all of your competitors? Putting in some really solid, clean SEO framework now is going to really put you in good stead in the future as your website grows, as you get more domain authority and as you're able to rank for more keywords. That's a really good question and the answer is just because of the way Google's made up. Google is constantly making tiny little adjustments to its algorithm. So it has all its index pages and it measures how users react to them based on different search terms. For certain keywords, you've got a page that's ranked in position one, two or three maybe one week and Google for a short period of time will be testing how users are reacting to that page. Do they click on it and then bounce straight off? Do they click on it and then maybe click through to something else on your website, it measures how valuable it thinks that page is. Following that, you might find that your result plummets and for that keyword, you're not in the first in the top 50 for a little while, but that's fine. It's constantly measuring and adjusting. The search landscape changes all the time as new things are introduced. For a brand new website, you're looking at around 35 weeks for Google to decide its position for all of your content. So getting your content to rank does take time, but you have to just be patient and let nature run its course and have faith in your content. Because if you've written content with your expertise and authority, you should reap some rewards from it. So the truth is, SEO and PPC don't really support each other directly. So traffic you get from an ad campaign isn't going to like trick Google into thinking that 
it's a good quality page because it's getting loads of traffic or anything like that. However, they do run parallel to each other because a well-optimized web page that does well organically could mean that you spend less in an ad campaign sending traffic to that page. If Google thinks it's a good valuable page and it ranks well organically, then it's gonna be easier to send traffic to it from an ad campaign. So another thing to mention is that there's evidence to suggest that if you have an ad running at the top of a search engine results page, a user is more likely to click your organic result lower down the page. So they support each other in that way too. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found that useful. If you did, check out our website. We've got loads of other resources and blogs on SEO and all sorts of other marketing topics. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like.